we're gonna watch no, I... will you start at zero when it comes to I the clicked spirit on world, Jane Nevin animations. Three... Damn, girl. I'm indifferent. Normally, I just don't mess with any of it. Whether it's real or not, I'm sure not going to fool around and find out. I I'm agree with that. I'm going to live as normal a life I can, die, and then we can go from there. But uh, I don't know about that, Chief. I know that in her video with uh, <laughs> Jay Shalad a few months ago, I feel like she got flamed a bit by the uh, religious community for her very willingly use of Jesus in an argument of Pokemon against a billion lions. But I can see the humor in it, but I also like know that the way I was raised, that nobody would care for that in my house. I, I, I find the humor in it, I just, I don't feel comfortable laughing out loud to it, even when I'm alone. But, uh, anyway. Also, I like ghost hunting. I got curious. What would happen if I individually booked readings with a bunch of psychics? I mean, I don't even know what they do. I huh. just know something about them being made of crystals and having three eyes or something. It's a world I've never explored before. That sounds like a very interesting idea, actually. <laughs> Until today, I didn't even know what Until to today. expect. Would they all say the same thing, different things? Would they say I'm cursed and demand to put a ritual on me? Who knows? I booked a reading with five different psychics. Heck yeah. Let's see what they all said about me. I wanted to see what days? consistency in all of this is possible. You know, scientific method and all that. So <laughs> I specifically booked a tarot card reading and palm reading from all five of them. That way oh. they're all reading the same thing for me and we get to be good little scientists in the supernatural community. Anyway, psychic one. I walked into the shop and saw a table with a bunch Had of candles like and crystals on it. You know, the typical psychic stuff. Now. I've never gotten to a psychic at this point. I didn't know what they were going to do to me. Were they going to say my name and say they've been expecting me? And for all I know, <laughs> a real life wizard could walk through the door Talk and be rude to me the whole time. But psychic one was a five foot tall middle aged white lady in a black spaghetti strap tank top and a ponytail. All the psychics had a bit of a different method of doing the tarot card reading. But the overall gist is they had me put my right hand over the stack of cards, say my full name, then I pulled 18 cards that would determine my reading. Psychic one pulled the cards herself, though. I didn't get to pick them, so I don't know if that was a non-regulation move or, or all the other psychics. Let me pick I like the that. Cards. She started with what she read about me as a person. I'm my own. I just imagine Jaden Animations going through a whole uh, Princess and the Frog situation, and she gets turned into a frog, or maybe she uh, <laughs> she's jealous of another animator's success, and then she turns that one into the frog, and then she becomes that anime. <laughs> Uh, anyway. and don't like being told what to do. She kissed the frog, everything's better now. Which is like half true. Well, being my own boss is full true. Hi guys. In normal day-to-day nice. -day life, I love I having those are. someone else tell me what to do. It's just nice to turn my brain off and put someone else behind the wheel. I feel but that. With YouTube, it's true. I don't like being told what to do. With the Pokemon XD video, I was asking Jacob what I should do with the thumbnail. And he said I shouldn't have Shadow Lugia in it because it's not that eye-catching. And I was like, no, I'm putting Shadow Lugia in the thumbnail because I love it. Okay, wait. <laughs> I just want to admit, this is, this is a bit of a funny thing. Just the way she said it made me feel incredulous to what he said. So I had no idea what that Pokemon looked like. I had no idea what this conversation was about, but I still went. <laughs> yeah. And then I did. <laughs> so the psychic's pretty on point so far. She said, I don't no. like asking people for things. Everything I have, I work to gain with my own two cans. I'm going to live a long and healthy life beyond my 80s. And I'm going to have three kids. All of those things are pretty fair. I do think you could say that to the majority of people though. Even if it's not genuinely true to their personality, I think most people like to believe that's the type of person they are. And if I don't live to be 80, what am I gonna do? Sue her? But that's the very strong skeptic in me. That's pretty funny. She do know me for real, for real. Then she Can you asked not if I had any questions that? for her. And I told her that I constantly worry that my birds are gonna die in some freak accident or sudden disease. Or they get out and fly away never to be seen again. She pulled more cards and said she sees that they're safe. But would recommend placing a spiritual protection over them which was very interesting to hear. From what she explained, I'd be doing a three-day, three-night meditation for them to create a spiritual barrier stop shrinking? to protect them physically, mentally, 
and medically. Probably yeah. Medical protection is a big deal. You can't just throw that around lightly, might I just say. And to perform the meditation, I would need to buy the materials from her to do it. She was very big on making sure I knew I wasn't paying for her time, just the materials. Which sounds thoughtful. Until she dropped the materials would cost $427. Let's just do a quick rundown on this whole session so we're all up to speed. During the psychic reading, this lady learned I'm my own boss, am successful enough to run my own animation team, care very deeply about my birds, enough to pay a psychic $90 to ask about their safety, and all I have to do to fully protect them from basically anything and everything in this world is set up this spiritual protection for the low, low price of $427. I didn't know you could repel cancer for under 500 bucks. Someone's trying to turn <laughs> something here. I just told her I don't uh, um, Speaking of, I don't know if you could read that. <laughs> Who's this psychic? I'd like to buy you something. <laughs> I definitely didn't believe at that point, but I had to say something to stop this snowball in its tracks. And immediately she said, Fair. that's fine, but this isn't something you should wait a long time on. Thank you, we'll be in touch. I never went back. I that hate that. My first that's my first reading experience. It spawned so many questions. Okay, my friends are the biggest, like, non-believers in any voodoo, mojo, mojo, jojo, hairy ape, but stuff anyway i know for a fact that they probably would have just been like our rats are gonna die but it did answer one i had beforehand <laughs> anyway. which was how do psychics even stay in business because i am now starting to understand the business model going on here moving on to psychic two i'll say this right now this one was my favorite oh. it was really nice and we had a lot of good Vegeta? small talk her psychic reading room was a little Vegeta? closet in her house and by the end of the session it was very warm in there but i had a nice time same situation nice. got a tarot card and palm reading i think she gave me a general spiritual reading as well and this all cost 90 bucks just like the last one what she said was all very positive she said she sees me making a name for myself in whatever industry i'm in Hmm. That was genuinely the first thing she said to me. I didn't tell her about my job or anything. She sees a lot of new and exciting opportunities coming for me in the new year. I got Aww. all these readings done late 2022, so by the time this video actually comes out, we get to see if that's true. She also said I'm planning to live a long- It's been seven months. It's- no, nah, it's fine. ...in healthy life past my 80s, and she perceives me moving to a different location sometime when I'm older, which is most likely true. I don't like LA. It freaks me out. She identified my bad I don't know you're there. Day, which she said is 3 a.m. Again, true. If life gets a bit too hard to handle, I will absolutely have a meltdown. She's an animator and a VTuber. Why is she, if Why are you? <laughs> you know, I, I'm not here to bash you. Chops, also, bro. Everyone has a meltdown when they're broken and it's late at night. That's a universal bad time. They even yes. had a rule in life about it. Nothing good happens after 2 a.m. But it's good to be more aware of because I forget and 3 a.m. hits different some nights. She said I've always been connected to animals. I'm going to be a mother of three. Okay, the other psychic did say that. Mental note. And for some reason, That's said sketchy. I get into hiking, which just sounds like a nice hobby recommendation. I didn't know tarot cards and palms could say that. I asked her about my birds. I didn't get the spiritual protection from the other psychic, so they are still in jeopardy. And she said, although she's reading that they should be safe, if I'm worried about any medical issues, I should just go to the vet and get general checkups done. I respect a lot. I came in asking yes. about the health and safety of my animals and she told me what she read, but if I'm actually concerned, to just go to a doctor. And didn't charge me $427 for it. Overall, Yay! Was we love that. that. She gave me a good reading, didn't try to sell me anything, and reminded me that doctors exist. I love this video. Kind of back in the same vein as Psychic One. She almost immediately said I'm gonna live past my 80s and have three kids. Right. Okay, what's going on? <laughs> I feel like as soon as I step in, I feel like if I did this and I step into like the first time I step into all five of them, they're all going to be like, wow, you're going to be a father of four, but you're not going to take care of any of them. <laughs> and like, it's not, it's, it's, it's not going to be because I'm not wanting to be there. It's going to be because I'm too childish to be a father or something like that. I don't know. It's going to be like, they're going to be like, oh, they're going to ask themselves. They're going to be like, oh. 
what can I do to make this little white boy feel better? Because he's not going to have a happy time. <laughs> the least I can do before this man lives to his 80s and is poor for all of it is <laughs> at least give him a few compliments and say that he has a nice, fun personality. In August, uh, that, that's what I generally think would happen. A man with a beard and or mustache is going to approach me with a business opportunity and to be wary of him. And then, before I could even process that, she said I may be involved in a light car accident in the next few months. Possibly a fender bender. This is the first Did psychic you? that was this blo- Did you- Okay, she's gonna say it. ...about straight up predicting things. And by the time this video comes out, those months would have passed already. Yeah. So I'll add right now if I was in a car accident. She also said someone near me is gonna have a baby and that I'm gonna become very attached to it. And that's gotta be the most incorrect sounding prediction of all the psychics so far because I am not a fan of babies. I don't like them. I think they are weird and unpredictable. I do not care who in my group of family or friends has a baby. I'm staying the hell away from it. My cousin had a baby. It's so cute. His name's Willis. Went back to reading me as a person that I'm very trusting and to be aware of jealous people that are around me. In this industry, that's pretty fair. Then yeah. she said it seemed like I had a big purchase on my mind, to which I admitted there was something expensive I saw that I had my mind on for a while. A car? That's what it was because she foresaw it being good for me. And I told her about the new giant Altaria plush that Pokemon announced. And I don't think that's what she expected though because she seemed to lose a little a little focus after that one but i did end up buying it i asked about my birds just like i have been for all of them and she said they seem safe however after reading me for so long she sensed my chakras were balanced which is insane because i could have sworn they were properly aligned anyway she would like to help with them i said sure and she hit me with the meditation prayer bit and how i'm only paying for the materials and not her time and I stop with the <laughs> Stop with the avatar chakra, dude. I hate that guy. That guy made no sense. Uh, um, <laughs> what was his name? Katan? I, I don't know what his name was. It's gonna cost $375. That's a steal! Much cheaper than Psychic One, but man, that's like the same setup and kicker. No medical protection to boot. I politely declined and left. I gotta say though, this Psychic was the first one to straight up tell me you're gonna be in a car accident. A bearded man is gonna approach you in August. Like just real life things. Whether or not they come true, you gotta respect that gamble. Did the bearded that guy appear? All or nothing type of Psychic. She tell was me. also the most expensive one yet. The other Psychics were both $90, but this one charged me 162 for for the readings. Now, Psychic 4. No wonder the previous price was. <laughs> was a doozy, might I tell you. I walked up to her shop door, entered the room, and no one was there. I immediately walked back out because it's weird to be just there alone. And yeah. texted her I was here, to which she responded, give me 15 minutes. Kind of strange the Psychic is running late, but I'm not here to get into that irony. So I just sat on a little chair and waited outside. 15 minutes passed, then 20. 30. This lady was 40 minutes late to a psychic reading. I brushed it aside because whatever, and we started. That would upset she me so much. Cards, laid them out in the formation, and told me she's very surprised I picked a lot of queen cards. Apparently, in the standard tarot card deck of 78 cards, there's four queens, and I oh. randomly picked three of them. She explained wow. that's no accident. So you heard it here first, people. Certified and indisputable queen over here. Go boss. She likes with how she sees I have a good strong energy. I work for everything I have. I've got good financial stability. I'm gonna run my own company and be a good leader. But she sees a lot of jealous people around me and to be careful about them. I tried yes. to explain YouTube to her because I felt like that would explain all the things she just said since all things considered it's pretty accurate. But after like five minutes of trying to explain what a YouTube channel is, she just gave up and was like, sorry, I just don't understand technology. Fair enough. Also, sure, all of what she said was surprisingly accurate, but I'm always wary of what can be used as a blanket statement, especially when it comes to the financial stuff, because, I don't know, I think going to psychics is a bit of a luxury expense. Not everyone can afford to pay upwards of $100 just to be told they've got positive vibes and are going to be in a car accident. But then Psychic 4 <laughs> says, I don't know how you do it, 
but you're making at least X per month and gave me a very specific range of what I actually do make per month. That's what definitely perked my ears up. You know, I don't have a normal job, and even after not understanding how I make money, she was able to drop a number that was pretty close to all things considered. Then she said she sees me living a long and healthy life, and that I'm gonna be a mother of three. I haven't directly talked about it yet, but I would like to say it's hauntingly strange how literally all four psychics have told me I'm gonna be a mother of three. <laughs> me if I like kids in the first place, they just straight up told me point blank. I don't know what it a movie is given off, I'm gonna have three kids vibes, but it needs to stop. <laughs> I absolutely do not want three kids. It's too many kids for me to handle. I'm gonna have to figure out how to change the face, like, immediately, because... <laughs> you know, okay, I'll be honest, I could probably see it, like, not with her avatar, obviously, but with her live-action self. It's all feeling a bit too real at this it's point. It's on face. They also all said I was going to live a healthy life past my 80s. So if I die at 50, I want all of my money back. Anyway, Psychic 4 kept talking, saying it seems my birds are safe, which is I asked. But there seems to be a negative energy trying to attack them, to which she'll start meditating to protect them. Also, my chakras seem unaligned, and my third eye isn't very developed, despite how old my soul is which sure is a sentence, so she recommended yeah. a chakra meditation thing. She had me lay on her table under a lamp of RGB crystals and turned on relaxing spa music. Then she told me to close my eyes because when your eyes are closed, your third eye opens, and that's why you dream when you sleep, is your third eye. You learn something new every day. Anyway, I laid there, she gave me some crystals to hold and put more crystals on my chest and stomach and legs and put a bell on my forehead that she would ring every few minutes. After a bit of that, she told me she had to leave the room for five minutes so her energy doesn't... 40 minutes, 40 minutes. Nah, it's gonna be 15, 20 minutes tops, right? 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 Interfering with be... mine? But I could swear she left me on that table alone and blindfolded for like 15, maybe more. After she remembered I was... I'm a psychic! She came back, sprayed me with lavender, which was pleasant, did huh. little karate chops on my body, and then had me sit up. I did hit my head on the RGB crystals, so I hope that didn't jostle my chakras. And that was that. She said I had a lot of energy and that I'm an old spirit, but I need to develop my third eye more, and she's going to send me home with a couple incense to burn, and that I need to come back tomorrow. At this point, Why? I was in too deep. All the other psychics, I was able to squeeze my way out of these situations. Uh... But I just ended up doing it this time, mainly because she <laughs> told me to burn incense, but I didn't have an incense burner. And then she lent me hers. And I didn't want to just take it and dip. So I burnt the incense like she told me to and went back the next afternoon thinking that was it. And after that, I could start not coming back anymore. But then she gave me some crystals, more incense, and bath salts this time and told me to meditate in the bath while holding the crystals and also burn more incense. Which meant I go home with her incense burner again. And that's when my friends told me to stop there and not go back. Good job. So I, I didn't. By the way, no! I have no okay, now nah, you. I was about to say, don't keep that incense burner. I'm glad you got that incense burner. Idea how she did that? She said the chakra thing where I lay on the table was like one or two hundred dollars extra. And then after we were done, she gave me the card reader, and it said six hundred and fifty. To which I was just like, sure, whatever. And then my email receipt said seven hundred and seventy-six. Again, Taxes. I mean, how these people actually stay in business. You know how, you know how hard it is for the psychic community to pay for their day-to-day -day lives. The government's against them because they know, they know the people you should and shouldn't vote for. So they charge them so much extra in taxes. You should support them. Don't even go schedule a reading send money to your nearest psychic today and not your friend who's a self-proclaimed psychic because we all have one of those she called me a queen gave me a crystal nap and Girl boss. 800 bucks from me and last but not least mm. Psychic 5. So for her, when I called to book an appointment, she told me she only takes cash and that I have to call 30 minutes before our appointment to confirm. So I did that a few days later when our appointment was scheduled and she's like, oh, I'll be honest, honey, I completely forgot about you. Can we reschedule to tomorrow? Which is like, first of all, 
how did the psychic forget? I rescheduled to the next day, but a few hours later she called me back and was like, actually, I overbooked you on top of a different appointment. Can we <laughs> reschedule to next week? And at this point, I'm annoyed, but again, I'm That's like, what's scary face. So we rescheduled again. I called to confirm 30 minutes before again, and once again, she forgot. So I just gave up. Tell me how many kids I'm gonna have. And that was my psychic experience. I'm still pretty indifferent about all of it, but I can totally see how and why people can get super into it if they surround themselves with the culture. Whether it's real or believe it or not, it was surprisingly nice to be told things were gonna be okay. I do think some of them can be a bit predatory on people at their low point, <laughs> but hey, it's great to have my chakras rebalanced. Cool new guy alert. We made a super cute Ari pillow available now. Oh. Look at this big man, he is huge and super soft. That's and a also, big boy. Head over to jmanimations.com to pick one up. I genuinely love him so much. Also, I've been doing lots of cool fan art recently and wanted to say the influx in art from all of that has absolutely blown me away. Thank you guys all so much. I try to see all of it, but it's quite literally impossible. But yes, thank you, thank you. Um, all right, until next time, bye bye. Bye bye. All right. That was a sick video. I, I enjoy Jaden Animations. I've watched, not a lot, but I've watched a dozen videos from her. And like, it was enough to get a subscription, so. I'm so glad that wasn't any further down my list that I was looking for. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, like it. If you don't, don't, don't like it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.